and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect. Temperatures are kind enough. It is an absolute picture under the floodlights here. And the match that follows ought to follow suit. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. So the signal to start the final round of fixtures in part one of two this season. Tries to dink it in. Neymar. Cavani. He's been given offside. He may have been caught offside, but... Well, Peter, from experience, defenders, I can tell you, ate those runs in behind. Chesney gets it upfield. Bentancur. Beradeski. Lobs it in gently. Flags up. Paolo Dybala really looks irritated that the ball didn't arrive sooner. And it's Kazawa. He goes long. Cavani. And he's onside. Rabio. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, that's nice. Neymar. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Dybala, aimed him towards the centre, and that's been levered clear. Douglas Costa, Thiago Silva plays it forward. Beradeski, it's a brilliant interception. Rabio tries to get it forward quickly, and it's Cavani. Mbappe, Alexandro gets his foot in there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Cristiano Ronaldo. Needless to say, it looks pretty awful for them. It does. This is about as bad as it gets on a football pitch. It's a hugely flawed setup that needs a drastic overhaul just to arrest this streak. Verratti played into space out wide Benedeski Dybala well each team knows that they're still well below standard and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out It's Neymar. Neymar. He's left his man. Bernadeschi sticks in a foot to win it back. Matuidi. Alexandro. Douglas Costa. Matuidi. Dybala. Well weighted. Bernadeschi. It's out for a goal kick. Bentancur. And it's Dybala. Dybala. Bernadeschi. Bentancur looking to get on the end of this. Hits one! That is wayward. Cristiano Ronaldo just had too many bodies around him. He would have done remarkably well to score from there. A 
Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Di Maria, out wide to the right. Mbappe, he's got away. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. And he's cut it out. Matuidi goes looking. Daniel Alves doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And the whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Second half gets underway. Tight old game so far. Can that change now? Going through. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And it's Kazawa. Goes down, but nothing given. And now the breakaway. Marco Verratti. Di Maria, Daniel Alves, now it's Di Maria, now it's Berati, here's the cross, and it's a goal! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck, and his immense talent may just have done exactly that, and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Saint-Germain take the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement for the manager during the break can often straighten things out. It's paid off here. Bentancourt needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required... A... Up he gets! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Dybala. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. Cavani. Aimed low and direct. Cristiano Ronaldo. Into the box. And he's there to hoof it away. Mbappe with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Goes for goal! Danny Alves gets rid without sophistication. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. He's left his man, cut out in the nick of time. And he heaves it forward. Marco Verratti. Mbappe. Now it's Di Maria. Fine defending there. Now it's Cavani. Benucci has been caught there, it's a foul. Jao Cancelo. Bernadeschi. 
your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Going for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position, something for him to cling to. Gets wrestled off the ball. Di Maria. Incoming cross. Up for the header! What about it? And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Cristiano Ronaldo, crowd, can he finish? And no, he couldn't find the finish. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Cavani gets flagged offside. Cavani only needed to check his run slightly and he was in the clear. Maria Mbappe Dybala goes long oh well defended that had to be done Buffon gets good distance on it looks to clip it forward ball through needs to be good here forward it goes it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Has he picked him out? Chance! A chance! He's gone for it! It's a goal! Late drama! Late goal! This will be one frantic ending! What about that, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. This is threatening to become a really good game. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. João Cancelo. Deftly done. Well read, he sorted that out. There is the final whistle. Paris Saint-Germain have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain really approached this game with clear intent, Peter, and a, a training ground plot was turned into a very good success. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.